Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Lies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Rex notices that Sarah is shivering after giving birth, so Xander asks her if he can take the baby for her. Sarah drops and Rex understands that she's discharging. He says that they need to get her to the medical clinic at the earliest opportunity. Chloe offers to call an ambulance, but he says he doesn't have time and asks her to turn around in his car. Sarah comes to and lets Xander know that assuming anything happens to her, he really wants to deal with their child and afterwards she passes out once more. Vivian claims that her divorce from Victor was never finalized at the mansion. Justin and Maddie argue that it is false, but she insists that it is true. Justin tries to call the clerk's office but gets a voicemail, so he says he will go there and get the divorce decree himself. Maggie commitments to make Vivian pay once this is completely cleared up. Chloe comes in and enlightens Maggie concerning Sarah having the child and offers to drive her to the medical clinic. Bonnie is left alone with Vivian as she plans how to redecorate the Kyriakis mansion when Maggie quickly leaves with her. The ladies quibble to and fro, and Vivian blames Bonnie for exploiting her likeness to Adrienne to get Justin's cash. Bonnie tells her that she loves him and doesn't care about his money. According to Vivian, it was the same for her and Victor. Vivian gets close to home, and Bonnie gets her a tissue. The two ladies begin discussing their time in jail, and when Maggie returns home she thinks that they are snickering together. Bonnie gets it together and gets some information about Sarah and the child and Maggie fills her in. Maggie learns from Justin that Vivian is telling the truth and that she and Victor were never legally married when he comes in. Justin tells her that there is no legitimate cure and Vivian advises them to pack their things and escape her home. When Stephanie comes up to Theresa, she is ecstatic to see her cousin and is thinking about the conversation she had with Brady. They hug and talk for a while before Kayla comes out and happily greets her niece. Kayla is taken aback when Theresa informs them that she will be there for Victor's funeral. According to Theresa, she wanted to pay her respects, but Brady believed that she was only there to try to rekindle her relationship with him. Theresa acknowledges that he probably is, which Kayla questions, but she tells them that it doesn't matter because he doesn't want anything to do with her. Kayla informs her that Vivian is a funeral crasher with the most resentment, not her. She relays to them what Kate told her about Vivian's subsequent appearance following the funeral. Inside the bar, Stephanie and Theresa get up to speed and discuss their adventures together when they were kids. When Stephanie inquires about the length of her stay in town, Theresa informs Stephanie that although her flight was scheduled to depart the following day, she is considering staying for a short period of time. Despite Brady's refusal to let her stay, Stephanie is delighted that she will. According to Theresa, they were flirting when she met them at the funeral. When Stephanie discovers that it was Alex, she is taken aback. Stephanie replies that she knows him when Theresa inquires about it. Stephanie informs Theresa that they were involved, and Theresa presses her for information. Theresa quickly withdraws and lets her cousin know that she won't seep after Alex assuming Stephanie actually cares deeply about him, yet Stephanie tells her that she is content with Chad. She wonders if Theresa is attempting to make Brady jealous, given that Alex is Brady's cousin. Stephanie has doubts about Theresa's claim that she is not. She informs Theresa that Alex is a lot, but Theresa says that she is also, so she is not concerned. She requests Stephanie provide his phone number. Rex conveys Sarah into the clinic and lets Kayla know what occurred. Kayla instructs him to take her to a different room while she takes the baby to the pediatrician. Sander is extremely stressed and attempts to get data out of Kayla when she emerges. Kayla lets him know that she can't give him any data since he's not family. Maggie arrives and lets Kayla know that she's family and that she can talk openly before Chloe and Xander. Kayla provides them with an update on the incident and informs them that Sarah is anticipated to fully recover. Sarah requests to see Maggie and the infant, according to Rex, who comes out. He takes Maggie in while Kayla goes to get the child. 
Kayla receives a page from the emergency room when she returns to the lobby. Sander offers to carry the child to Sarah and Chloe vows to watch him. Kayla gives her approval and gives the baby to Xander. Sarah receives her from Xander as he brings her into her room. He gives her and wrecks his congratulations and turns to leave, but Sarah asks him to stay because she has something she wants him to hear. She tells them all that she wants to name the baby Victoria Margaret, after Victor and Maggie, which Sander believes would have delighted Victor. Sarah responds that that is all she wanted to say when Maggie inquires about it. She informs her mother that she should return to the reception because she and the baby will be sleeping. She expresses her gratitude later when Xander presents her with a candle. After he leaves, she converses with Rex about all that and enlightens him that she is certain regarding her choice not to come clean with Xander. Halex and Brady are as yet trusting that the food and begin will discuss the racer. Brady tells Alex that he doesn't know everything when he tries to defend her. He inquires as to whether he's thinking about going out with her and Alex concedes that he is for however long Brady's good with it. Brady let him know that he's all right with it yet, there are things about the racer he has to be aware. Brady concedes that the racer is a brilliant mother and says that Tate draws out the best in her yet he says she experiences a talent for tracking down difficulty. Alex lets him know that is something that he and Theresa share practically speaking. Brady tries to show Alex that Theresa and his version of trouble are very different. They are informed of what transpired with Vivian at the funeral reception by Justin, who interrupts them. After Justin leaves, Alex and Brady discuss all that is continuing and wish they knew why Victor annihilated his will or went on the secretive outing. Brady suggests that they might be able to find out in some way, he tries to call Victor's lawyer, but the man only tells him that Victor is in Greece and won't tell him anything else. Brady suggests that Alex and he travel to Greece to investigate Victor's whereabouts. When Theresa tries to call Alex to set up a date, he tells her that Brady and he are going to Greece. The last time Sarah Horton was pregnant, an auto crash while heading to the clinic changed her life for eternity. Sarah's child was born on the side of the road and later passed away at the hospital. However, Sander Cook swapped her daughter's body for Rachel Black's, and Sarah was unaware of what had transpired for a year. She lied at the time that Sander, not Eric Brady, was the father of her child. This time, she claims that Rex Brady is the father of the child she is carrying for Sander. Understand, TIS. Figure out what occurs next on Days of Our Lives. She prays that she gets to the hospital safely when she goes into labor, immediately following Victor Kyriakis' funeral. Will something turn out badly this time as well, and will Sarah figure out how to quit lying about child daddies when pregnant? I hope this child survives. Maggie Horton Kyriakis is as yet grieving her significant other just in the wake of covering him, however, doesn't have a lot of chance to plump down and inhale before Vivian spreads the word. Maggie doesn't want her anywhere near her house, so she is there to say goodbye to her beloved one true love. Vivian is at ease in the mansion where she gave birth to Philip Kyriakis many years ago because she has never been one to take no for an answer. But why exactly is Vivian in Salem? She most certainly needs to create some enormous mischief, yet for whom? Finally, mystery man Joseph Fell's past is investigated further by John Black, he picks up something about him that stones John profoundly. When he met Yoling, a man who claimed to be his father, he thought the question of his parentage and where he came from had been answered. Is Yoling's tale going to be revamped, something that could make a ton of Days fans cheerful? Peacock lets you watch new Days of Our Lives episodes every weekday at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.